Good morning. Good morning. Parkwood Church loves children. The children are precious to us. And we show that every week by gathering them here together and showing them off like a little garden. Isn't it beautiful? And you guys just make it so much more lovely. I'm so glad you're all here. My children's story today is actually a testimony. You know, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. A testimony is when you tell what God is doing in your life, what God has done for you. And I want to tell you how God answered my prayer. I went to a little sermon and the speaker said, we need to be like Jesus. We need to reach out and relieve the suffering of somebody around us. And I said, that's my prayer this week. Dear God, please help me find somebody to relieve their suffering. And three days later, I was at work and my friend came to see me at work. And she started telling me her story. She said that she needed to have a major surgery for a heart valve replacement, but because of her medical condition, before she could have that surgery, she needed to have some oral surgery done. Her insurance wouldn't pay for it. It was going to cost $2,500 to have this oral surgery so she could get her heart valve replacement. And my boss pulled me aside and said, Nina, you've done some fundraising before, haven't you? And I had to say, my kids went to CBCA, so you know I didn't know how to do some fundraising, right? So I said, yes. And we started working. I got a little plant, and I said, we're going to have a raffle, $5 for a ticket, for the raffle ticket, for the plant. And my friend loves Jesus, and she said, I want to help. And so she donated a tumbler and five dollars a ticket we were going to do a raffle then we went online and we put on a gofundme page and we got started do you know what happens in six days miracles that's right fifteen hundred dollars in six days i was praising jesus because i had prayed to help relieve suffering and Amanda had prayed for $2,500. She didn't know how to raise the money. She had lost hope. But God put the two of us together. And in six days, I had half the money. And my boss asked for a report. He said, how's it going with that fundraiser? And I said, we're halfway there. And he said, stop. Stop. I'm going to pay the rest of it. So you turn off your GoFundMe. You stop selling your raffle tickets, and the fundraiser was over in seven days. Now, I have to tell you, when you pray, God hears you. But when somebody else, somewhere else is praying a matching prayer, he hears both of you, and he puts you together. And that's when wonderful things happen. And our job is to tell everybody that God hears us, he answers our prayers, and he can make miracles happen in seven days. This is my friend Amanda. I wanted to show you her picture. She's going to have her surgery on May 18th, and two days after her oral surgery, she's going to get her heart valve replaced. Amanda started getting sick when she was 11 years old. They didn't know what was wrong with her. So they sent her to UC Davis, and by the time she was 17, she was diagnosed with lupus. By the time she was 19, she was on dialysis. Her kidneys had failed. So she's had a rough young life. But she believes in Jesus, and she knows that everything that she is going through is for a reason, and she loves him. So please pray for my friend Amanda as she faces the surgeries ahead of her. And please remember that when you have an answer to prayer, when you have a testimony, it's very important for you to share it with people around you. And before we close, I just want to say today is my friend's birthday. So on the count of three, if you could please say, happy birthday, Rhea. I would appreciate it. On the count of three, one two, three. Happy birthday, Ria. You can go back to your seats or you guys do what your teacher tells you. <laughs>